Hello everyone, in this video I'll be describing how the annual autumn vintage event works and how to unlock berry pest in the bestiary. The event runs twice every October, from the 1st until the 8th and the 17th until the 24th. There are 7 days of rewards after each event if your world manages to successfully complete it. Firstly, to participate in the event, you must have 3 bunches of winter berries on you. These can be looted from many creatures when the event is active, such as dragons, deeplings, cores, trolls, and more. I'll leave a link to the Bunch of Winterberry page on the Tibia Wiki in the description so you can see the most up-to-date list. Once you have at least three bunches of winterberries, you can speak to Emily, who is found just to the west of the Thias North Gate. You'll have to say hi, mission, yes, yes, and she will teleport you to the winterberry cellar. The way this event works is that you can hand in 10 bunches of winterberries each day per character. You will then use them on the molds in the northern part of the cellar. Once 100 bunches of winterberries have been delivered, the next phase will begin. During this phase, you will have to walk on the berries in the central area known as the vat to process them. You will have to walk on each square multiple times to break the berries down and make the tile look like a smooth blue color. Each time a square is walked on, its appearance will change until it reaches this proper color. If a square is not walked in recently, it will begin to regenerate to the previous stages. This makes it a requirement to have multiple people helping out in order to complete it. During this phase, it is possible for it to be interrupted with either the need to add sugar, add water, or kill berry pests. To add sugar, you can find an area on the east side of the room. Using this will add sugar to your inventory. You then must use it on the vat of winter berries in the middle of the room. It is faster if a few people pick up the sugar and throw it to the others standing by the vat and let them use it rather than having to run back and forth. To add water to the vat is similar. You'll need buckets though, and can find the fountains on the west side of the room. Using the buckets on the fountains will fill them with water, and you can toss them to other players to allow them to pour the water into the vat. They can then throw their buckets back to anyone by the fountains to speed this process up. The last option is having berry pests spawn. These must be killed to prevent them from eating the winter berries. They will spawn in the vat and have 500 health. They take neutral damage to all elements and only require 5 kills to complete, though they do only reward 5 turn points. Enough of them spawn that throwing a single AoE rune should damage enough of them to allow you to complete the entry. Once all the winterberries in the vat have been processed, this counts as successfully stomping one load of winterberries. Your server must stomp 40 loads to be successful. After the vat has been stomped, it takes around 3-5 to five minutes for it to reset, so it can be done again. If your server is successful, health, mana, and spirit potions will be 33% more effective for the 7 days following the event. Also, contributing bunches of winter berries for 3 separate years during the event will gain the berry picker achievement worth 4 points. Hopefully this guide can help you complete the event on your server and unlock the best cherry entry if that's what you're here for. Thanks for watching and happy hunting.